uh, day to, uh, today where we saw a lot of uh, uh, lightning potential and that's a, we have a protocol with lightning and uh, just decided to move all of it inside and uh, really can serve a purpose. Tried to look at it that way where you got some young guys and just trying to get reps and uh, slowed the tempo down a little bit, a little bit more conversation between plays with a slower pace and maybe it's something that could just reinforce uh, the development of those young guys. So uh, followed up tomorrow, we're in full pads. Uh, maybe get a little juice back in them because we didn't, uh, didn't have a son and didn't have any, any kind of really uh, uh, all out uh, movement today. So we'll see if it'll make it a better day tomorrow even. And uh, first day in pads and Really, it's hard to find out about Lyman if you're not if you're not in full pad. So I'm excited about that tomorrow, and uh, we'll just uh, see where it goes. So talk a little bit more about going into pads and just finally get some full contact. Well, yeah, you're so young, you know. Uh, you talk about 40 speeds and what you did in high school and a lot of things, but it, you know, balls blocking and tackling, and uh, you got to you got 70 guys here that hadn't done much of it at the college level, some none at the college level. So next day, tomorrow being the next, and the next day being the day we go full pads, particularly linemen, particularly where every, every play is a contact play for those guys. So, uh, you know, there, there'll be some separation created tomorrow. There's some guys that'll thrive in it and some guys that'll have to learn from it. And there may be some guys that step back from it a little bit. Uh, but, you know, from there we'll just go to the next one and take whatever comes out of it and get better and better. But it truly will be the beginning place.